Hello everybody, it's everyone's favourite feisty feelings, FS Grace Pause here. If you're new around here, please subscribe and ring that bell for more furry fandom related content. Also, want to join my Discord community, link in the description. So, today we're going to be looking at some furry quizzes online. So, I've wanted to do this for a little while. Um, I had the idea that, because there are a lot of quizzes online, various different things like, you know, what Harry Potter house are you, or like, you know, all these, all these quizzes. But there are some that are specifically for furries, so I thought I'd give that a go and see, see what furry quiz is the best, which ones you should be doing to find out more about your furry self. So, let's hop into the first one. So, this quiz is, how furry are you? And yeah, let's have a read of the little introduction we've got here. It's just a fun little quiz to see where you place in the furry fandom. Results will be reviewed in my next week's video if there are enough responses. Regardless of when I do so, this quiz will stay up for pure entertainment. Maybe you can revisit it and see how you compared to the first time. Feel free to share your results and encourage others to join. It's more fun that way. Note, please use a name that is appropriate and also one you don't mind being publicly used. If you do not want to show up in the results of my video, then please re refrain from taking this quiz until after the results are discussed. I plan on uh, linking my video tied to this quiz here, so check back later. So yeah, let's, um, I will probably have a look, see if I can find the video for this and put that in the description. But let's go ahead and take the test. So I am Zephas. Good start. Okay, so question number one. You really want a fox tail. Now, I mean, foxes are cool, but I'm not a fox. So, nah, I don't want a fox tail. I'd like a cat tail, but I wouldn't like a fox tail. So, there we go. You have a crafted set of paws. Um, I've got like gloves that are like paws, but they're not sort of a specifically crafted set of paws, I think, as the question is kind of asking. So, I would like a pair. You have a fursona. I do indeed have a fursona. You have a fur affinity. I do indeed have a fur affinity. Even though I dislike fur affinity, as is judged by my video a couple of weeks ago, which I'll probably put on screen somewhere. You've been through at least two fursonas. Uh, no, not really. Um, I haven't even had one isn't true. Currently on my second isn't true. And I have too many isn't really true either. Um, I'll have to go currently on my second because otherwise it's like I don't have one. Yeah, this the, the answers for this could be a little bit um, a little bit better maybe. You have at least three pieces of art of your persona, gift art, trade, or commission. Yeah, I've got I've got quite a lot. Um, <laughs> I'll say probably a gigabyte by now. It's not that much. But I think that's closest to the amount that I've got. So yeah, there we go. You have a plushie of your fursona. I wish that would be really cool. I mean, I know there is a company that do. Um, they'll take your ref sheet and make a plush for you, but it's very expensive. So who knows? Maybe one day. I have a fur suit. I wish. <laughs> I would like one. I would like one, but once again, they are very expensive. So hopefully one day. You take commissions or make some form of currency from the fandom. I used to. I used to actually sell. Um, I used to sell custom pixel art of like personas and stuff uh, for a little bit actually, but I, I stopped it. I would like to kind of get back into that. So let me know if, if it's something you'd be interested in in the comments, and I might I might hop back into it. Maybe even do a video on it. I think that'd be quite cool. So I'm gonna go for sometimes because I've 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 dabbled. You have a small collection of furry original characters. No, I've only got my fursona. There we go. You actively bid on art slots, YCH or adoptables. No, I've I've never really actively bid on art slots. I've I've bought art slots outright, but I don't I don't like the idea of bidding. Um, but I've, I've, I think I've done it maybe once, actually, maybe once. So I'll say I've gotten a couple. These answers are very restrictive. Um, you spent more than $100 on furry merchandise. Yeah, probably. Easily, yeah. You rep a hyena agenda or similar brand t-shirt as often as possible. I don't have one. They, I think they're really cool, and I would like to get one. And I'm still waiting for my um, furry tees... Uh, LGBT collection uh, t-shirt to arrive but obviously you know with everything going on at the moment I understand that shipping times may take a little bit longer than they initially expected 
you don't know what hyena agenda is, I am well aware what hyena agenda is. You have at least one furry sticker on your laptop or similar possession. I, I don't actually, I don't have any furry stickers apart from my own. So I'm gonna go with I don't have any for that one. You've been in the fandom for over five years. Um, I'd say, I'd say about uh, between one and th three, so I'll say only three years there. You consider yourself a grey muzzle. No, I don't think I would. I'm not. I'm old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> you don't know what a grey muzzle is. No, I'm, I'm aware. I'm well aware. You have several plushies of the species of your fursona. I don't actually. Um, but there's no option for that. So I'm going to have to say that I do. Because I do have plushies, but they're not of a Persian cat. So I'll just say that I do. You occasionally make animal-like noises or gestures. Um, <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't do that. You make it to at least two conventions a year. I've never been to one, but I'd really, really like to. That would be, you know, awesome. Maybe one day, but definitely not this year, obviously. But, um, yeah, maybe one day, but currently never been to one. You've actively searched out fairies in your area through an app or forum. I have done that, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of nervous about the whole thing, but I've, I've, I've definitely done that. You have no other furry friends. I have several. I have several. You've tried to convert your friends into furries by showing them the community or making them a fursona. No, I haven't really done that. I'm, I'm very much a case of, you know, my, my non-furry normie friends. I'll just, I'll just leave them be. <laughs> you had a sparkle dog phase. No, not particularly. So I'm going to have to go with... A what? I'm still in it. Cringes or I'm revisiting, would revisit those kind of, I guess cringes maybe? That's the only way of saying that I know what it is but I um, no. So okay, let's go for that. Let's see how we do. Your result, casual. Alright, cat ears and foxtails aren't cutting it for you. You want a fursona. You're still pretty new to the scene, just making a fur affinity and checking out the forums. You start looking into conventions and dream about a fursuit someday. Oh, and it's just a fandom, not a fetish. It's probably kind of a secret from your friends and family. Uh, okay, the quiz itself is not very, um, <laughs> it's not very indicative of the end result because I think I'm a little bit further in than, you know, new to the scene. But um, with that being said, let's hop on to the next one. Okay, the next quiz we've got here is what type of fairy are you? A quiz to test what animal fairy your personality flows with best. So let's hop into it. What would you rather eat? Turkey dinner, grilled salmon, veggie bowl, steak dinner, fruit bowl. Now, um, for those unaware, I am a vegetarian, so it would not be a turkey dinner, grilled salmon, or a steak dinner. I guess I'd go veggie over fruit, to be honest. I kind of prefer vegetable to fruit. So we'll go with that. Where would you rather live? house in the country, cabin in the woods, small house in the suburb, penthouse in the city. It's a penthouse. It's a penthouse in the city. I'd love that. That'd be awesome. What would you rather be? Soldier, lawyer, police officer, realtor, scientist, farmer, doctor. Um, so I'm none of those things uh, at the moment at least. I currently work in IT if I've not mentioned it before. I think I've probably mentioned it in previous videos so that's fine. Um, but when I was a kid I wanted to be a lawyer, so I'm going to pick a lawyer. What kind of personality would your friends say you have? Calm and collected, smart and logical, kind and self-sacrificing, shy and easily scared, hyper all over the place, sexual and perverted, or short fuse with a temper? I think people would say that I was... I like to think that I was either uh, smart and logical or calm and collected, so I'm going to go with smart and logical, I think. If someone dropped a wallet with cash in it, what would you do? Take the money and leave the wallet at the police station, start searching for the person on the ID, turn the wallet into the police station, keep the money and toss the wallet. I would turn the wallet into a police station. Not turn it into, I'm not a magician, I can't turn a wallet directly into a police station, but I would hand it to the police. What sounds more fun to you? Exploring the woods, sleeping and napping, going out to a bar or club with some friends, at home with a blanket and popcorn for a movie night, or camping in a tent in the woods for the weekend. Uh, out of those options, I think being at home with a blanket and popcorn for a movie night is the most appealing to me. What quote do you like most? Life's a masquerade and we all wear masks. 
Give a man food, leap for a day, teach him how to fish and he'll never be hungry again. Evil isn't born, it's created. Home is where your heart is. Look out for yourself because nobody else will. Be who you want to be, not what others want you to be. Oh, they're, they're all quite good. There are some there are some good ones there. I think I'm going to go for the bottom one though, the last one. There we go. What's your favourite colour out of these? Red, yellow, blue, green. Um, I guess out of those, red? What music genre do you listen to the most? Um, none of the below. <laughs> I mostly listen to electronic music, which weirdly isn't on there. It's pop, rock, country, nightcore, metal. Now, nightcore I guess is kind of electronic, but out of those selection, I think pop probably. What class did you get the best grades in? History? I didn't take history. English, math, or science. Now, maths I did really, really bad at, so it's definitely not that. Science, kind of likewise, so I think English. And what are you? Extrovert, ambivert, or introvert? I think I am an uh, introvert. You are a fox furry. You are smart and have a way with words. You are smooth and easygoing. People become naturally attracted to you and you're never short of friends in your life. You strive to find adventures and to entertain your hunger for living life. Okay, that's quite interesting. As we know, not true, I am a Persian cat. However, that's very interesting. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, and we've got the final quiz of the video. What type of animal would suit your persona? Let's hop into it. Firstly, do you consider yourself to be more feminine, masculine or neutral? I would say feminine. Do you consider yourself to be introvert or extrovert? Introvert. How often do you get out of the house? I mean, <laughs> lately, not a lot. <laughs> um, a few, few times a week, a few times a week. How do you often greet, act around new people? Uh, either aggressive and defensive, very quiet, confident, uh, smiling polite, confident, laughing and joking, slightly defensive, but still nice until uh, nice to them until I know them better. Oh, there's, there's one more, sorry. Uh, shy and quiet, I'll be polite as I can. Um, I would go with quiet. I'm quite quiet around new people, I find. How many friends would you say you have? Uh, probably in the two, two to three range. Opinion on food. Um, I, I like food, so if there is an option that is good, I would marry food if I could. Yes, thank you. That's perfect. Do you collect anything? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit of a, a little bit of a hoarder for, for certain things. So game cards are a big one. So I'll go with that one. How are you with technology? Do you like it? Are you good at handling it? I mean, as I previously said in this video, I, I do IT stuff, so I quite like technology. It's, it's pretty cool. So what's the strongest way of saying yes? I know a lot. Some would call me a nerd, but I bet they would be jealous if they knew what I could do. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think that's, that's probably a cool one to, to pick. Religious views, maybe. Um, I don't particularly have any religious views. I guess my mind is open to anything. I'm, I would describe myself as agnostic. So, you know, if you give me a persuasive argument and evidence in a particular direction, I, I could probably follow that direction. Favourite colour? Oh, out of this list? Um, oh, there's some good ones on this list, to be honest. Uh, let's go for purple. Purple's a good colour. How big are you? I don't mean higged. I guess they mean height. Um, none of your business. Massive goddamn. Rather chubby. Average, thank goodness. Slightly under average. Slim. Bony. Um, I would go rather chubby, I guess. Let's go for that option. You got rabbit or hare. Rabbits are small mammals in the family Lepridae of the order Lagomorpha. Found in several parts of the world and hares and jackrabbits are leporids, belonging to the genus Lepus. A hare less than one year old is called a leveret. I didn't know that, that's quite interesting actually. One might call you shy, jumpy or timid. The fast reflexes of the small rabbit or hare suit you best. Often quite slim and tall, you might be picked on at school, you're nervous and timid, and possibly love being in a quiet place on your own for long periods, be it outside in nature or sitting in front of a computer. They've got that right, I'll be honest. <laughs> you might not be very friendly, I think I'm quite friendly, but you appreciate it when people are nice to you. Every rabbit should keep on trying to explore their limits, slowly creeping out of their shell and into the world. It might take days, weeks or years, but once you do, you'll feel far better because of it. 
So there we go, those were some fun furry quizzes. I'll put the links to each of those in the description so you can take them and let me know your results by tweeting me or joining my Discord. Thank you all for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay.